Hello, 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 everyone, and good morning. This is Ava with Stitching in the Interlake. How's everybody doing? Hope you're having a great day so far. Well, today is the 11th of May, 2023. Yes, yes, yes. Jonah is up in the penthouse, laying there. <laughs> and Sydney and Lily Bell are down here, both curled up together. Boy, that's Sydney. He loves his Lily Bell. Well, Jonah loves his Lily Bell, too, so. But it's usually Sydney's there that's sleeping with him. So, all righty. Oh, it's an absolutely beautiful day today. I had a pretty bad migraine yesterday. Thankfully, it was rather short-lived. Um, by the evening, it was starting to let go. Um, I do have a headache right now because Miss Twinkle Toes, Miss Miss Twinkle Toes, decided 4.30 was a fantastic time to get me out of bed. So, yeah, I tried to go back to bed, and no, she wouldn't have anything. She didn't want none of it. So, yeah, I've been up since 4.30, so not good. Anyway, um, today we are doing a review plus stitching. Um, but it's a review from VIP Cross Stitch, okay, dot com. And very, very good company. This is part two. Um, last week was part one. And um, this, oh, oh, the discount code is interlake07. Okay, all one word. Interlake, I-N-T-E-R-L-A-K-E, -E, zero seven. So you can use that, um, you know, when you go to check out and um, you'll get an extra 7% off. You know, and these days we can use it all, right? So take advantage of all the sales and, and um, you know, you buy four, you get one free, what, whatever it is, or you buy five and you get two free gifts or something. I don't know. Whatever it is, go for it. Alrighty. So this is what I've got. It is a full coverage. It is, um, they don't have a picture on this and I wish that they would do that. So all I will have, I will put a picture at the very, in the thumbnail, okay? So that you know what it is. Okay. It, first of all, it comes with this pattern. I really wish that they would enlarge this pattern even more. It's getting better, but enlarge it even more. You know, make those squares bigger. So, this is, I don't know if you can see it or not. This is what it is. Okay. Um, I decided I was going to get a 14 count. Because I wanted to see what the 14 count was like. And of course, it comes here with your instructions you know, how to do cross stitch and what to do afterwards and all that. So, let's first take a look at all these colors. Such beautiful, beautiful colors. Um, yeah, they just have it here as... Um, there's 30 colors in this. Okay. So, such beautiful. See? 
Look at those beautiful colors. And it doesn't look like there's any black in there. I think this probably is 939. Uh, there's some white, 3865. Yeah, this is probably 3041 right here. Yeah, so lots of beautiful colors. Nice purple here, nice, you know, mauve color, you know. So they're beautiful, beautiful colors. And so, again, this is what this is. It is 165 by 275. The edges are not surged. And that is something I would also like for them to do, is please surge the edges. Please, please, please surge the edges. Okay. It says this is a 40 by 60, so it's a 30 by 50. Once you take off the... Um, margins there okay maybe even a little bit less there are two needles right here these are uh no these look like they're for an 11 count okay they those are 11 count needles um and they are longer than normal which I don't much care for so yeah now you can see the pattern nice and clearly on here so that part is good my eyes are really tired and my head hurts, so I'm having trouble a little bit with these symbols. But I think these are all uh, like a seven in here. I don't think there's anything that's mixed in there. Let me see here. Yeah, yeah, so that's good. Like there's no straight up and down because your eye kind of swims here a little bit with, with this the fabric is softer which is nice but again I please if you are listening please 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 surge the edges there's nothing worse than starting to stitch and it begins to fray and so I've been doing where I've just been doing kind of like a blanket stitch all the way around so very nice very very nice I like this one and like there are roses up here and there's this kind of pink building with a um, portico here and um, you know, in the buildings right here. Very, very nice. Yeah. I really like this. The lines are well defined here, so you can see them. A lot of solid colors, which is always good. So, this I'm not fussy on, which is this. Okay. It looks good there. It looks really good on here on the on the key for the legend. But once you get it down here where you are trying to see it, no. And the same here with um I think it's what is it? Is it this color? Um, I just had it here. Um, yeah, I must have seen it wrong. 
Oh yeah, like here. That's this one, 3750, which is a blue. Um, yeah. And the color on the pattern, like the key, the legend, whatever, will match this exactly. Okay. So it is doable. I like this much, much better than the 18 count. Much, much better. So very nice. Oh, this was $18 and 63 cents, I believe. Okay. So very nice. Very, very nice. Still needs a little bit of tweaking, like in the um, surging. Um, yeah. But, um, and the, si the needle sizes, because these are for an 11 count. And they're rather long. They're more like a tapestry needle than a cross stitch needle. Okay. So please, please, please do something different about this. See, they're all different. So this one here almost looks like, no, same size. Yeah. So, yeah. So very nice. Very, very nice. So it's it's the only one that I have for today there for in the review. So, uh, yeah, so please go and look for that. And make sure that if, because when I clicked on it, even though I clicked on a 14 count, okay, it came up as an 18 count. So I had to put in there that I want a 14 count, okay? So um, please, um, you know, make sure that you really, really, really look at it to get it all sorted out, you know, because I don't want you to receive it and then realize, uh-oh, instead of a 14 count, you got an 18 count. Now, I did look for 16 count designs. There were some there, but none that I really, that I didn't like. I just didn't like them, so I didn't even order them. I'm hoping that they will add more 16. I don't know if I'm going to like it. I'm only going to get one to try it out. I do like the 14 count, though. So, but anyway. All righty. Uh, got my red wing blackbirds. And yesterday I had, uh, I had some other sparrows here. Now, normally I get the house sparrows. But then when I looked outside, there were different sparrows out there where the males were really dark in the face, like dark brown. So I went and looked it up, and those are called Harris sparrows. So, and one unique thing is that they fly at night. They fly at night, which is... I don't know, do all birds fly at night? Like geese and ducks and all that? I don't know. So, okay, here. I am continuing here to work on Lotus Blossom. Okay. I got all this part done yesterday. So I'm going to continue working here. And... I've seen some absolutely gorgeous pictures that you all are doing for flowers in May. And that is so nice. That is so, so nice. Very nice. So... Um... 
Yeah, so today we are going down to Lundar. Um, our wells are done. So we're going to go and uh, sign for them and, and bring them back and everything. So I, I'm going to be happy about that. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. You know, do you ever make a decision and you absolutely know it's the right decision to do? And uh, that's what I've done. So... I didn't do any baking yesterday. I wanted to. I may do some this afternoon if I'm feeling up to it. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Oh, I got to get my scissors here. Yes, yes, yes. So, um... Yeah, in um, southwestern Manitoba yesterday, uh, around 5 o'clock-ish, there were uh, tornado warnings out. Oh, my gosh. Turn that around. And, um, yes, we do get tornadoes here. So... Tornadoes can go even way up north, too. So. I am trying. I'm going to try and edit this video. It will be my first time to edit. I don't know if it's going to work. If you don't see it as being edited, uh, then I probably didn't get it quite right. But I'm going to keep trying to see. You know, it's, uh, it is just a matter of, of trying it. And that. I got my rose colored glasses on right now, so it's a little bit darker for me to see but they do help I will tell you that right now they do help if you've got photophobia I would I would highly 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 suggest getting these glasses or if it is that you do a lot on computers You know, that it is it's so much better. Oh gosh, that didn't go. Okay. Something happened there. It got pulled through too much. Yeah, so it was quite the early morning for me. Um, I'm tired of these really early, early, early mornings. They really drag me down. Very much so. Very, very much so. Maybe I'll take that down some more. Get that. So, 
And yes, I'm having nightmares again. Nightmares, flashbacks. It's awful when that happens. So. Yep. So I'm looking forward to getting that Ajovi. And um, trying that out. Yeah, that migraine yesterday, it just came on like a speeding freight train. You know, one of those, I don't know, what do they call them? High speed trains. That's how fast it came on. Oops, sorry. Yes, yes, yes. So. Yeah, so I'm not going to do much. I was hoping to do some baking today, but. Nope, not, I don't think so anyways. I was just going to make something easy like magic bars or something. Nothing difficult. So, today it's supposed to get up to like 22 degrees or something. I can see it maybe being a little warmer, but... I guess we'll see what happens. So poor Lily Bell there, she was suffering from plugged anal glands this morning. Oh, she was doing the bum scoot. So I grabbed her and I got them cleaned out. And she was much happier, much, much happier. It's easy when you express them. Plus, you save money from getting them done with the vet or groomer or something. You just got to remember not to squeeze too hard. But you can feel them, like how full they are. And uh, you just grab like this. You have a, had a Kleenex or paper towel or whatever. And you put it up there and then you just squeeze, you know. And it's just like balloons or grapes. <laughs> she felt a whole lot better. Yes, yes, yes. But otherwise, not much else is going on. Um, 
Yes, please make sure that you are subscribed because uh, YouTube is notorious for deleting or canceling subscriptions. Why that happens, I don't know. I don't know. So, and please like, share, subscribe, comment if you like. All that helps the algorithms, helps my channel grow. I love, I watched Lovecraft Forever, Natalia, this morning. She just did a review on a, a couple of puzzles. And um, very nice, but not something that I would do. But, and then um, I watched. Stitching with Laura, another great channel. And I watched um, Carol on Diamond Painting with Corey, Diamond Painting Effects with Corey. Yeah. She did. She was working on uh, on her channel. She was working on tulips for my channel, <laughs> or in honor of my channel. So, yeah. So, I've noticed there that. Sydney, when he goes out, he, oh my gosh, he goes way over there in the bush. Way over in the bush. I don't know if he's laying over there or if he's gone visiting. I know Jonah goes visiting. And uh, to see other cats and that. Or go to other places. I mean, they're all far enough away, right, that it doesn't, you know, they they never go out to the road, never. They, they always go to the back, so, which is good. Yes, yes, yes. So please remember that there's the dedicated Facebook group, Stitching in the Interlake, and you must name, you must answer the question, who are two of my three sidekicks? I mentioned them several times already. So, and my dedicated email address is stitchinginteinterlake at gmail.com. Oh, that's wonderful. Yes. So, anyways, I guess that's it. So, I'm going to go over and uh, start washing dishes and um, hopefully my migraine or my headache whatever it is goes away and uh, boy these these glasses help a lot I'm telling you they have a help a lot oh I've got cowbirds out there too and I've got blackbirds but right now there's a couple of cowbirds out there. And the cowbirds look like blackbirds, only they're more brown. They're very drab looking. 
We called them cowbirds. I don't know if other people call them cowbirds. We did. Okay. So, because they were always around cattle and that kind of thing. So, but anyway, okay. So, I guess that's it. And I hope to see you back here tomorrow. And uh, we'll see what what happens tomorrow on tomorrow's video and all that kind of thing. So, there's Sydney over there getting some water. There's Lily Bell over there. She's laying on the bed. And Jonah is way up there in the, in the penthouse. So, may you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be well. May God bless you this day and every day. God loves you and so do I. And so does Lily Bell and Sydney and Jonah. And, uh, oh, I guess Sydney's thirsty today. And, uh, anyway, so I hope you all have a great, fantastic rest of your day today. And I hope and pray that you'll join me again tomorrow. And uh, please remember to like and share as much as you can. So, thank you, Jesus, for being my Lord and Savior. Thank you for saving me from my sins. Thank you for being there in my darkest and deepest moments. Thank you for loving me like you do. Thank you for dying on the cross for me so that my sins may be forgiven. And that's a prayer I pray for all of you as well. All right, everybody, have a fantastic uh, rest of your Thursday, and I hope and pray that I will see you here tomorrow again. Toodle-oodles, everybody!